So I'd like to end with a little show of, of uh, diet books and diet plans. Let's just say you want to cash in on people's nutrition interest. Well, what can you do? Well, you can promise miracles. There's very little control over these sort of things. You can distort the science. You can lie about what you do. And nobody will come after you. It sounds like a pretty nice recipe for making a lot of money. You can write a diet book. <laughs> and so there's very little control over who writes these diet books or what goes into them. So I'd just like to show you a few of these. They're the magic nutrient books, carbohydrates, fat, whatever it happens to be. That's one theme you could follow. You could also write a diet book regarding a place. So there's the South Beach, there's Scarsdale, there's Beverly Hills. There are a lot of places you could write a diet book about. But there are many more possibilities. Brazilian, Jerusalem, Greek, the Hilton Head diet, they're from all over the place. So you could make up your own one on that. There are the specific food diets. So there's rice, coconut, cabbage, soup diet. So you could use that kind of theme. What about the party, body part diet? Enzymes, thyroid, et cetera, the abs, the serotonin. You can pick some part of the body. The how long will it take you diet? So there's 21 days, there's 30 days, there's 24 hours. Now look at this, the three hour diet. Can't beat that one. Only three hours to health and success. The egomaniac ego doctor diets. So these are diets where they put their name on the book like this, and of course the classic one of all time was Dr. Atkins' Diet Revolution. There are religious diets that are interesting. <laughs> so if you want to draw upon a higher power, you've got lots of choices there too. Okay, so there's a Buddhist version, there's Daniel's diet over here. Now, I don't know if you can read it, because it's a little blurry, but a diet program that's been successful over 2,000 years. Can't beat that kind of a track record. Diets by numbers and letters. E diets, number seven, the GI diet. There's the weird, to, weird diets, but hard to classify. Detox diet, the rave diet, so if you're into raves, you can go do that. <laughs> And the negative calorie diet. So these, the negative calorie diet are ones that where you, you eat food that have negative calories. So you consume it, but it burns off more calories than it actually has. Not possible, but you can write a book about it. There's the butterfly diet, the astro diet, the get well with hay diet. So if you're like this, you can do well with that. There's the diet code. This is the weight loss secrets of Leonardo da Vinci. And you probably didn't know this, but see, that's what happens with Leonardo. Here's a nice little diet device. Here's a soap that washes, washes the fat away. So you take a shower, you use this soap, the fat's all gone. Here's a nice device. <coughs> Food blocker, if you need a little help. Here's another great one, lose weight in bed. So you need to lose weight, you can do it in bed. And then here's the favorite of all time, vacuum pants. Attach via the hose to your vacuum cleaner. So you want to lose weight, there are lots of possibilities. Okay, we'll see you guys on Wednesday.